Hello! Welcome to Wobbly Stick Week, part two. We're doing non-dominant hand wobbly stick situations. Alison's here. Hello! Bedroom floor. Hello's Helen as well. Hiya, Helen! <laughs> How you doing? I have been... How, like, it became seven o'clock so quickly, didn't it? There's lots of people here. Twinkle said... Hello, Katie! Hello, Helen! How you doing? Hello. I'm all right, are you? I'm good. I've Brilliant. just grabbed everything at high speed. I was like, oh my god, seven o'clock! <laughs> <laughs> but I've got my ink. I've got some ink. I've got the same wobbly stick as last week. Yeah, me too. I thought it's not broken. Don't fix it. Yeah. This is going to be really, really hard though, isn't it? Non-dominant yeah. hand, wobbly stick. It's going to, it's going to be impossible. <laughs> If the, if the drawings last week are anything to go by, these ones will be very interesting. <laughs> yeah. I spoke to Johnny Hanna today, our favourite Good Ships, one of the Good Ships' favourite illustrators. He did, a, he did um, a film for our course, didn't he? Anyway, I spoke to him today because he missed some of the times where we've done um, Hardcore Stick Week, where you've got to draw with a stick but not sharpen it, not tamper it, you know, the rules. Did you educate and, uh, him on the official rules of the stick? Yes. yes yeah. it, consider him educated. I can't talk to anybody about it without educating them very harshly. Anyway, <laughs> I, I messaged him to say we're doing non-dominant hand wobbly stick on a wonky arm. And he said, can I join in from the train? <laughs> That's yes. non-dominant wobbly stick on a wonky arm on a wobbly train. Isn't and it wobbling around wobbly. poking people in the eye? <laughs> Uh, I said if he if he manages to do that, we have to make him a proper award, and not just an emoji award, not just no, an emoji, a real one, a real life one. Definitely. Do you think he's actually going to do it? I don't know. I hope. I would so. be so excited if somebody started drawing with a wobbly stick on the train that I was on. I'd be like, <gasps> are we his, friends? Yeah, balancing his jar of ink in one hand and his stick on his coat hanger on the other. Brilliant. Oh my goodness. It's scary enough doing it at the dining table, let alone a train. I know. The brave man. What are you drawing tonight? I haven't organised anything. I've got the room. I'm going to draw the room. Ah. There's lots of photos of people. Photos of dead right. people. Oh, that would be good. Of dead people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they're family. Oh. Dead family, so it's all right. <laughs> Brilliant. I love it. I've been around Asda and I got some custard. I've got one of them in the cupboard. Oxo. Some Oxo. Have you and got some of the Asda um, Scottish mackerel. I've realised over the weeks that I've just become an advert for Asda. I don't even <laughs> really, I'm not even massively into Asda, but because it's round the corner, all I have you... at Art Club is talk about Asda. <laughs> Are you secretly on sponsorship from Asda? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, should be. I welcome to Art Club. Be. <laughs> Thanks to our sponsor, Asda. Many flavors of crisp are available. <laughs> Use the discount code Good Ship Asda. <laughs> uh, funny. I see Tanya's here in the comments. Hello, Tanya. Sarah Lacey says she found a China figurine in a charity shop for 99p. Oh, good find. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. I wonder what it is. So good. I, sent, I remember to send the email, so if people are on the newsletter, they've been told that it's at the earlier time today. Yeah, in fact, if you're not, anybody who's here, if you're not on the email, it's probably a good idea to sign up because we're doing seven o'clock on a Friday for the rest of April, which I think is only one more week. And then after that, we're, we're going to mix it up. So over the summer, we're going to do some lunchtime ones, some maybe Saturday morning ones, I don't know, but you've probably best been on the newsletter yeah, and I promise I will send an email every week telling you what time it is, because <laughs> it's, it's, I always forget. <laughs> so if I'm forgetting, other people will forget too. So yeah, that's the best way to keep up to date, isn't it? Hey, there's Doodle there's Voyage. Voyage. Lots of <laughs> familiar faces. Yeah, all the best yeah. people. So. Right, I've got my phone ready for timing. Oh, excellent. Uh, oh, yeah, you can't use a calculator for timing, can you? You can try. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Because this is so hard, should we start with a three minute? 
Yes, I'm very scared. <laughs> so am I. I. I think we can all expect that none of our drawings are going to look like what we're trying to draw. I think well, that's going to look like anything, Helen. That's the yes. thing. But never mind. Exactly. The other thing is, right, I had my vaccine this week. And they How said, was it? Well, I'm absolutely fine. I didn't feel a thing at the time, but now my arm is sore. They said, what arm do you want doing? <laughs> and I said, non-dominant arm, because I forgot about our club. So I've oh. also got a, sa a sore arm to add to the wobbly stick on it. We arm. should have put that on the description. Vaccinated, non-dominant, wobbly <laughs> stick arm drawing. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. celebrate Helen's vaccination part one. <laughs> Stay tuned for part two. Is it in 12 weeks or nine weeks uh, or something? Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> Hopefully long enough that it gets better before I have to go yeah. again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right, are you challenge. ready? I am ready. You've got my wobbly stick in my non-dominant okay, hand. There. I've put my stick in my ink. I'm worried it's going to fall over. Anyway. I'm going to need to buy some new ink. Get set. Okay. Go. I'm ready. We're up. We're off. Okay, let's wiggle this down. Non dominant hand. Okay. Right. I'm going to try and draw a glass. I'm I was very draw. impressed. You know, when you do the, the reel to tell what the theme was using oh, a non dominant was, wobbly stick. It was so, so hard. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. Helen wrote words took me forever it's a good job that they speeded up those things because it <laughs> took a hell of a lot of concentration and a long time uh, my wobbly stick is doing some like weird vibration marks i'll show you them when they're stuck yeah my elastic band makes it bounce off the page yeah uh, Quite what's yours tied on with this week is it um cable ties it's still cable ties yeah it was still beside the kitchen sink waiting to be washed from last week, so it was good that I didn't get round to just doing that. Wash your stick? They've is that not allowed? That's in the rules. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Katie has been disqualified for washing her stick, which is not officially allowed. We need to make a contract for Art Club, don't we? And then everyone can sign it. Oh, See, yeah. I, I would really enjoy writing that, actually, all the clauses. Oh, me too, me too. Should we Especially make after the last couple of weeks, I've been sorting <laughs> out a contract for something over the last couple of weeks. And every day I've had some sort of message from a legal advisor or the company I'm trying to sign this contract with. Oh, my God, the clauses in there. We could put some real corkers in. It'd be brilliant. We could. I couldn't be a lawyer. No, me neither. I oh, get very bored. We, w we wanted one particular clause in particular. And we've got it. It's all happening. But by the time the lawyer had written it, and they'd rewritten it, and then my lawyer had rewritten it, and then they'd rewritten it, I could not make head or tail of it. Oh my goodness! I couldn't. By that point, everyone's it. just like, "Never mind. <laughs> We're not going <bother>. to <laughs> give up. <laughs> too much fat." <laughs> But it's good. You've inspired me to actually read contracts now because I'm. I was naughty in the past. I used to be like, yeah, 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 that's fine. Whatever, tick, sign it. <laughs> but I'm. I'm realizing now that you do have to read these things. Well, usually I've got out of ever reading them because I've got an agent. But this wasn't a published. It was a different sort of contract. So I just. I thought, well, it's not. It doesn't even read the same way as a publishing contract. It's really different. Yeah. I had to get some advice on it because oh, there's no way I could have done it myself. No. It's, it's good to get advice for the boring stuff like that. I don't feel like I should be inspiring you to do something so boring. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, timer. Oi. You know what? It's not actually going that badly. Neither is mine. I'm not just I'm with it. Do you know what I see these weird off. marks I was telling you about? Can you see them? Oh, look at that. That's nice. Isn't it? Oh, cool. I like that. I'm not going to lift mine up because I'm worried it's going to drip everywhere. I'll just do this. Ooh, Did, it's sardines. a tin of sardines. Sardines always have such good packaging, even the Asda Don't ones. They? Don't they? Yeah, even the cheapest Asda ones have got really nice, nice tin. Yeah. When I was a student, I used to go to Waitrose for a look, and you could, used to get a free coffee. But also, I would sometimes buy a tin of sardines just for the packaging, and then just keep <laughs> it 
in oh, our room well, that's to like look so beautiful. That's so funny. Just for a look. Aww. Just for a look and a smell. <laughs> well, I, used to, I used to buy posh bread as well and I'd be like, do you really oh, fancy having my toast in the morning? Oh, lovely. I know how uh, we, you can't beat posh bread. We got nice posh bread from the green shop today. So for my that bread you all, brought last oh, week was so good as well. It's good, isn't it? All day I've been thinking, oh, tonight I'm going to have avocado on toast. I've been thinking oh. about it all day. It was so delicious. millennial. <laughs> <laughs> Proper millennial meal. <laughs> <laughs> What's Tanya saying? I Our them. elderly neighbour claimed I was amphibious because I used to use both hands. <laughs> <laughs> amphibious, brilliant. <laughs> You breathe underwater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we set the timer? Shall we do what should we do this time? Uh, what was the last one? Was it three. three? Three. Okay, that was a nice let's do five. Yeah, all right then. On your marks, get set, go. Go, 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 go. I'm going to draw my box of co-op candles now. So I do shop in other places. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the co-op as well. Isn't, it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> isn't yeah. that where your new badge is from? The co-op's got everything. I'll show you. When I've stopped drawing, I'll show you my badge. I've got a new badge. And it says, it's all at the co-op now. <laughs> I so love it. it. <laughs> Cameron found a badge for you that he's going he? um, to give you. It's very oh. good. Brilliant. Do you want to know what it is or do you want it to be a surprise? I want to know what it is. What is it? <laughs> so Are you allowed to like, tell? I think I'm allowed to tell. He's not here to tell me off anyway. Okay. Um, it says, I'd love a gas cooker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Brilliant. Yeah. It's by the gas board, I think. Uh, I'd love a you know new what? gas cooker or something. It's it also perfect. completely true because our cooker is on its last legs and I do need one, so I'm going to wear it all the time till I get one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A subtle hint to anybody looking at your bandage. <laughs> so I could get you for your birthday. So good. I can't wait to get that. My friend Alan, who is Tank Girl creator, Alan Martin, I'm just dropping it in there, just like casually. <laughs> casually dropping it in. He Amazing. made some brilliant badges. It's got a sweary word on it. It says hairy and then a a b word uh, i love that too i wear that all the time it's brilliant so good impressive badge collection i like a good badge i am i think my left hand my non-dominant is better at wobbly stick drawing because it doesn't care so is this going better than last week it is yeah Ooh. Yeah, magic. Oh, I had a very exciting week. You know how I was telling you about, I'd signed up for a course about how to make your camera look fancy and stuff. Oh, yeah. So my, I bought a second-hand camera off eBay and it arrived and I got it all set up. And it's amazing. Oh, is it? Yeah, it looks like um, a it looks like a proper film when you do even on a on a Zoom call or a live. It's mad. Really? That's yeah, brilliant. I'll show you. Oh yeah, I want to know how you stop the focus noise because I've got oh, a really yeah. nice camera and it does make very lovely films, but it makes a noise when it focuses, and so I've just given up trying to use it for a film. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, when you get you, to you that like... bit of the talk course, I need to know. Yeah, I think it was that you lock it onto a focus point so it doesn't change. Ah, uh, okay. And then the microphone's like on a magic arm so it's not too near the camera so it can't hear bits like that. Ah. Uh -huh. yeah, sorry, it's very, it's very, it's, it's like the same nerdy lesson, it's nerdiness level as SEO. I'm like, oh my God, no, no. <laughs> You love Fuck. a good nerdy course. I do. But we live in school. Oh, I've got ink on my t-shirt. Uh-oh. What kind of ink are you using? Is it waterproof ink? Uh, acrylic. Oh, yes. no, that's it then. Oh, well. Oh, well. It just... I look like a real nice. artist. Exactly. Managed not to spill my tea on myself. 
I forgot to make myself a cup of tea. Oh no. Oh, this just takes so much concentration, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. I was I was tempted to go out in the garden for this one because I thought it was going to be so like wild flailing around, but it's not too bad. <laughs> I can't wait till the evenings are just a bit warmer so that we can do that. That would be nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm really pleased with this drawing. It is pleasing having even less control. It is. Everyone, I think we're right handed, left handed. Oh, yeah. Don't me the other hand. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. Oh, there we are, timer. Oh, I only beat once. Why is that? Oh well, there we go. Time's up. It's Holly spilt ink or something. We need Helen's trademark spill proof ink pot. Yeah, <laughs> I stick all mine to a bit of card and then I can't knock them over as easily. Can you stop telling everyone, Helen? That's like, I know I haven't got it copyrighted you? yet. <laughs> patent pending. Everybody just keep it quiet till I get my patent sorted. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit drippy. It's the chair behind oh, the table. Lovely. I'm going to just turn the camera down to the table because I don't want it to drip. Oh, yeah. uh, oh maybe Ooh. it's a bit hard to see because of the light. But... Oh, no, these are pleasingly wobbly. <laughs> Those are supposed to be candles on a candle box. That amazing candle box. <laughs> Talk about contracts. Yeah, everyone wants your inky pot. Oh, that's yes, that what my contract's for. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you will not steal the idea for this. Anybody I find sticking their ink pot will be down on a piece of card and <laughs> in there suing them. Well, I haven't changed it. It's the 23rd today, isn't it? I don't bit. know, actually. Oh. 23rd. You want to move the hey, table? There he is. <laughs> oh, wrong way, wrong way. Friday. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wobbliest so far it is the wobbliest so yep, far certainly is right should we do another one let's let's do a seven minute shall we seven minutes That's seven ages minutes. yeah okay yeah. go we're off I'm off guess what i'm doing tomorrow what are you doing? I'm having my haircut. Hey! I've never been so excited for a haircut in my life. <laughs> um, I've got an appointment, but it's not for, I don't know, maybe two weeks' time. I couldn't get anything. Uh, I've not had one since before lockdown. I think I managed to get one. You do an I had one then. in the last year at some point when we temporarily came out of lockdown, I think. Nice, yes. Was it alright wearing a mask the whole time? That's a bit I'm not looking forward to. It was a bit weird. It wasn't very nice. And also because you get your hair washed, the mask gets all wet. So I would recommend taking oh, another no. mask to swap when the first one gets wet because I had to just sit in the same mask for the whole time. Oh, but that was a good tip. I'm going to do that. Yeah. You don't fancy sitting there with a wet mask on. It's not nice. It's kind of hard what? trying to chat with your hairdresser as well because <laughs> <laughs> so they've got the hairdryer on and a mask on and they're talking and you've just got no clue. <laughs> uh, I'm so bad at that anyway without a Me mask. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Just be like, really oh, difficult. are you going out this weekend? No. <laughs> All right, well, good. What do you do? <laughs> it's, like the most, it's always the most awkward conversation ever. <laughs> Have you got a boyfriend? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, what, what does he do? Oh, nice. <laughs> are you going That's on so holiday? <laughs> no, not really. 
<laughs> I, I love going on holidays and it's like, oh my God, stop talking to me. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I had a hairdresser once telling me that she only ever watches documentaries on the telly. Only <laughs> documentaries. And only documentaries about murders. <laughs> <laughs> Were you like, okay, put the scissors down. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's great. <laughs> That's a yeah. commitment to murder documentaries. That's the hairdresser who I was telling you about who used the hairbrush to brush her hair. Oh, no. And then immediately used it to brush my hair. Oh. Just like oh. hidden one hair in the mirror and then turned to me and did my hair with the same brush, no <laughs> gap between. So, I mean, I'm not squeamish about these things, but I thought that was really weird. That is weird. <laughs> Nowhere else would that be okay in any other industry. <laughs> I don't think in any other town that would be all right, except for here. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to write the words original custard powder. It's not going exactly to plan. It's nice and wonky. Non-dominant, wobbly typography. Yeah. I to see that. I've drawn the mirror and it's got Jerry's wear on the mirror. Oh. He's ordered his big vacuum press screen table today and his oh. um, light exposure unit. Yes, that is very last. exciting. Um, when will they arrive? Is it held up by Brexit or anything or is it all just normal? Um, it's got a two month lead on it. I think they have to actually make the light box. Whoa. Mm. Two months. Yeah. No, it gives I remember looking at bikes and one of them was like, oh yeah, the earliest you can get it is next March. Wow, really? Like, oh, yeah, because yeah, of Brexit and stuff apparently. Wow. And everyone buying bikes. There was trouble, well, when um, we first went into lockdown, Pi wanted a bike for her birthday, this is this time last year, and we had real trouble getting one and in the end had to pay a lot more than they usually, that type of bike would usually cost. It's crazy. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah. Weird lockdown, Brexit E. Yeah. Oh. So he's got a long time before he can start delivering his antiques by bike then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't don't wait for bike delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this feels like? What I imagine it feels like. What? How elephants might draw with their trunk. <laughs> yeah. Like if you were right. holding a branch with your nose. <laughs> I think, I think like you it. might be right. Yeah. And that one with the elephant. <laughs> I keep forgetting to breathe. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's always a good sign, I think. I keep going, ugh. <laughs> 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 no, what's that noise? I'll just Helen concentrating, don't worry. <laughs> oh, blimey. It's on at your end. Yeah. They're nice, aren't they? It's really loud. I hear a blackbird late into the evening, high up in the tree. Yeah. We had a We've got a blackbird nesting in our garden. Oh, have you? Yeah, very oh, cool. Wow. That. That's lucky. I'll tell them we say hi. Oh gosh. Stop. 
that by myself in the boob. What? That went by really fast. What? Is that, that 10 minutes? Um, oh, I it's around the half past mark, that's what it is. It was seven minutes. Ah, oh, have we in gone the into, the, into the zone? We're getting there, we're on like the cusp. Mm. I don't know how well you'll be able to differentiate what this is. So this is the fireplace. There's oh, yeah. There's a Jerry's uh, Wales. Oh, uh, Jerry's Wales. Hey. Brilliant. That's so lovely. lovely. I'm not going to hold it up because I'm worried all the ink will run. I've just uh, pointed point down. down. Um, so nice. Custard powder, oxo. What else? Oh, I started a tea caddy, but I didn't get around to finishing that bit. I'm very impressed by backwards oxo left handed wobbly photography. <laughs> What? Brenda. Skills. Uh, I'm gonna get a new piece of paper. Good idea. Awesome mama illustration says my dad has an elephant painting. <gasps> what? Really? Amazing. Fiona says let's paint with our nose next time. <laughs> I think we've talked about that in the past. <laughs> it's a case of how would you hold it? Yeah. Put it across there between your lip and your nose. Mm, good yeah. idea. Yeah. How about we go back to usual hand and see how we fare <gasps> with that now? Yes, that's a good idea because it might be good. Right. Okay. Shall I set it for mm, Do a long one? eight minutes? Yeah. Another long one? Eight minutes? That's good. Okay. Go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, this feels pretty special. You feel in control? Yeah, my hand's really excited to get going. <laughs> that sticks too wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It actually feels just as difficult as with the other hand, doesn't it? It does. What's that about? I, I think I was expecting to just be able to pick it up and do it, and actually it's just as difficult. Same, I thought it would be like picking up a normal pen. Uh, do you think I could just use a normal pen and not tell you and then show you and you'd be like, wow, that's so good. No, because I can see you on the camera, Katie, you remember? Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> <Don't worry laughs> <laughs> a mere detail. <laughs> I can use my eyes. Uh, damn those senses. <laughs> Oh, I've used another piece of brown paper, but this is um, the cover from the book rather than the inside. And it is soaking up the ink so much. It's making big... I'm not enjoying that. I am not happy, Katie. Uh-oh. I am not happy. I'm going to get another piece of paper. Oh, my goodness. Everything's going wrong. I don't right. know if I've ever seen you change paper before. It's, it's drastic measures. I was mm. not happy. Not happy. Whoa. Right. Okay, I'll start again. <sighs> oh, it was touch and go there. <laughs> <laughs> On the brink. I almost had to storm off. <laughs> Can't work in these conditions. <laughs> it's not good enough. Been watching a program about police corruption. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. And the best thing about it is it's got these great drawings in it. So they're trying to illustrate things that they've got no film footage of. So they're trying to illustrate like <laughs> um, a police officer sat in a car talking to a criminal and agreeing uh, and, and forcing the criminal to pay the police officer to keep him safe from being arrested. And um, so they've got the recording, recorded in the 60s, but they don't have any film footage. And so they've made these absolutely beautiful um, pieces of animation using drawing. The drawing is a bit like, oh, no, I'm going to forget her name now. What's she called? Lucinda Rogers. Do you know Lucinda Rogers? Who yeah, I can't remember off the top of my head. You would definitely recognise like. if you saw her work. Um, the, the name rings a bell. 
She does Definitely. a lot of reportage and she uses thick line and thin oh, line on the same drawing. Yes. I think I've seen yeah. her work in, I was in London once. Yes, I know who you mean now. She lives in London and most of her drawings are of London. I've yeah. not seen her draw anywhere except for scenes in London, actually. Her work is absolutely brilliant. And this work is really similar to hers. It's like moves around in 3D as if the drawing is is kind of, I'm not explaining it well, but like it's made in the air and the camera can move around the lines. It's incredible. Wow, is it like the virtual reality drawings? Kind of, except that it's not just like the kind of line that you might use if you used a Apple Pencil or, or a program. They're like proper, beautiful lines you might make with a stick or a thick brush and then a dip pen or something. Sounds amazing. With all of the mistakes and all of the roughness of handmade. They're, they're absolutely beautiful. Also, the program has loads of footage of London in the 60s, like old colour film of streets in London. It's so brilliant, so lovely to look at. It oh, seems like an unlikely programme to find a source of visual inspiration, but it's, <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, it makes you wonder like, who the, the producers must be all creative and nice. Yeah. To be like, we're making this police programme, we need an illustrator. It's not creative or inspiring at all, but I've become weirdly obsessed with the Police Interceptors programme. Police Interceptors? Yeah, what, it's like the traffic that? police when they, they drive behind oh. someone and they're like, oh, they're, they're disqualified, follow them. That's really? Brilliant. Is it police yeah. chasers? Yeah. Oh. And like the <laughs> have the dogs with them sometimes. And then oh, my goodness. sometimes they find loads of drugs in the car. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm living vicariously through these baddies. <laughs> I think that's probably why I'm into this thing about police corruption. Because I'm either a stickler for the rules or, or absolutely desperate to break all the rules. Like, there's no middle ground for me. <laughs> I think Is you that... would be a corrupt policewoman, Helen. You'd <laughs> definitely sure. you'd be easily bribed. <laughs> for sure. Uh, yeah. it's, really, it's really brilliant. <laughs> the conversations that the police officers have with the criminals, I think it was the, it might have been the Times, the newspaper, the Times managed to secretly, so this criminal got so fed up of having all of his money nicked by the police um, that he eventually went to the Times and said, let's, you can do some secret record recording so that you can uncover what this police officer is up to. Mm. And um, the conversations are so brilliant. They're like, you know, coppers in the 60s talking in kind of like uh, the uh, like language that police officers and, officers and criminals would use. And I wish I could remember and do an impression, but I can't. Go oh, on, desperate for an impression. <laughs> <laughs> All right, darling, 499. <laughs> it's just like that. It is like that. Do you remember also, that advert that used to be at the beginning of films and it was about pirate videos? Yes. <laughs> I love that. I like, you funny. wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't steal a handbag. Of course, we spend the whole time going, yeah, I would. I would. I would. Yeah, <laughs> I would actually. How do you know? <laughs> you don't know what I'm I capable of. When, um, when Pa was little, you'd look, you'd try and find a, a DVD of something that she could watch that wasn't like a 12 certificate or something. You'd find one, you'd put on your press play, and that would come on, and she'd be absolutely terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Music is scary though, it's like yeah, terrifying it baddies music. It is. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm sure I've seen somebody do a scam of that recently on something. What was, really? Oh, yeah, like a spoof of it. Not a scam, a oh. spoof. I knew what you meant. I'm kind of done. I could draw some people. I'm on to the birds' original custard powder now. Love proper custard. That's the one where you've got to add sugar and milk, isn't it? Do you know I've never made it from a, 
I don't know. Let's have a look at the instructions. Custard I got in trouble for buying that one because the, the sachet is easier, apparently. My custard oh. chef tells me. Oh. This one, you mix the custard powder with some sugar yeah. and a pint of milk. You're right, yeah. It's quite high maintenance powder. So. Is it? <laughs> I've never made it from powder. I'll either buy it in a tin or I'll make it from scratch if I'm being very posh. Whoa. Not very often. <laughs> How did your drawing go? Nice and wobbly. I think it's... Hey. So this is the ring light that my phone's on. Yeah. It's not plugged in. Then that's the round mirror. These are the photos of all the dead people. They're not all dead actually, but they're there. Brilliant. That's nice lovely. Marks. You've got some really nice marks in there. I think yeah. I can I think put no, I'm dead no, six nicely. Let's see. Ooh. So I've got my candle, co op candles my oxo cubes my yeah. tin of tea and i was about to do the custard i haven't managed the custards custard watch this space <laughs> this is going all wrinkly let's get a fresh page no, i'll leave it handmade could hardly breathe could barely breathe doing that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> Did both hands on that one for getting to breathe too. Yeah. The concentration. Get to breathe. Oh no, oh, my green, paper's sorry. still stapled into the book and I need to get it out so I can get to the oh. next piece. Oh, do you know what? I'm just going to carry on on this piece. It's easier. I'm going to do my custard. Yeah. Finish my custard. Right. Uh, back to the timer. Oops. I'm pressing the calendar. I can't get the right <laughs> app tonight. <laughs> Calculator. Calendar. <laughs> <laughs> Any other apps to see? <laughs> uh, brilliant. Right, okay. Let's go. Shall we have a quick one? A quick one, yes. It's already 20 to 8. How does that happen? What? Let's do a four-minute one. Four minutes. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Go. Go, go. So I set up that camera in the studio today and my little sister was in helping me oh, yeah, blog posts and things and then <laughs> when she'd finished she was like, can I have a go on the camera? Will you make a video oh. of me? So oh. she, made a, she made a video and she was um, she was like, hi, my name's Erin and I'm an illustrator. <laughs> hey. And then she like, picked up the hand cream bottle and she was like, I drew the hand on this hand cream. Yeah. <laughs> this I did the home bargains logo. Yeah, that took years to <laughs> to perfect. <laughs> I was like, you're oh, a natural. <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh. So I'm gonna keep it and embarrass it with her when she's old. You've got to. How old is yeah. she? Uh, sixteen. That's brilliant. Oh. She also when she saw I had a, a posh microphone, she was like, oh, "Can I do some ASMR recordings?" Oh. <laughs> she and made did she, an ASMR. What did she do? Yeah, she did. She had a little a pot of pineapple chunks. <laughs> yeah. So she did an ASMR of her opening the pineapple chunks and oh, talking brilliant. about the pineapples. Brilliant. So, oh, that's so I've got cool. like a, a file of embarrassing things there. And yeah, there. keep those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. So good. I've got a train done rev to do the transcript. Hooray, really? Oh, yeah. that's handy. And then she just turns them into blog posts as well. Hey, that's so cool. Super handy. Oh, I'm using my right hand. Oops. Don't tell anyone. Oh, I'm using my right hand. Oh. I forgot. I like to know we didn't set a rule. We didn't. Corrupt police. <laughs> <laughs> this is just mayhem. It's total chaos now. Total chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what's going on? <laughs> um, anarchy. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. 
I really want to draw with a normal pen. <laughs> On that um, police thing I was telling you about, about corrupt police officers, um, one of the ways that they found out the police were corrupt was that they kept faking confessions from criminals. <laughs> and so they'd read these confessions out in court going, you've got me absolutely bound to rights and I'm really glad that you've arrested me because I was getting really sick of a life of crime. You've got me, <laughs> governor. And, they go, <laughs> and it, worked, it worked for years and years and years. And then what? they set up a middle class couple and they planted drugs in their house and then arrested them and then made one of these confessions about them. And one of the ways that they proved it wasn't them is that they <laughs> don't have Cockney accents or speak like that. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, well, we would never say bound to write. <laughs> it's just oh, I love this. <laughs> it so was good. so good. <laughs> <laughs> We've got 18 seconds left. I was about to start the, the um, Scottish mackerel oh. fillets, but I'm not going to. I'm going to start. Hold the mackerel. Your time. I've done two very unimpressive drawings. But that's fine. Oh. There we are. Time's up. Yeah, me. Undominant. I did, I'm trying to draw that ink pot. It got very hey, spidery. Nice. I really like the drawing of the one in the background, especially. Scribbly. Lovely. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Little, it, like, you try and draw a line and the, the stick takes on a life of its own and wobbles more lines. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to turn it down again because otherwise it's going to run everywhere. So I've got my Oxo, uh, candles, uh, tea. I like these wiggly shadows as well. And there's the custard. I managed to get the bird's logo in there. And the, yeah, the bird. <laughs> <laughs> that, takes, that takes skill with a wobbly non <laughs> hand. Helen's going to. Oh, I missed that. Oh, but am I drawing things going to be useful for me to eat after? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Custard and mackerel. My favourite. <laughs> Delicious. I had a very middle class tea tonight. What was it? It was. Um, Chicken with asparagus inside it, wrapped in prosciutto, darling. Oh my goodness! I know. It was, wow. It was too fancy for my own good. And me with my avocado on toast. What's going on, Katie? Oh my goodness! I know. <laughs> Far too posh. <laughs> it does nice pollock splatters. It does these sticks. So I did on me. <laughs> I wonder if we do one. You know how you've got your wiggly arm? If yeah. you hold it right at the end. My, I do anyway. Mine's not very long. Oh, you could, do anyway. I'll tell you what I could do, though. I could attach a stick. So it goes <laughs> stick, arm, stick. I'm going to do that. Right. Do it. Yes. Tape. Stick, stick, stick. I'm going to add more tape to the end of my stick so that I've got a sort of holder. Get okay. some purchase on it. I'm going to put the light on. It's getting very dark in here all of a sudden. It is. Did you see any of the shooting stars last night? I didn't, no. No, we didn't either, but um, apparently last night, it said that the best time was to, sit, to see it was sunset, which is half it. So there's still quite a lot of light in the sky, actually. I think it was too light to see them. We stood in the garden for ages. We didn't see anything. Uh, apparently the dolphins are back this morning. Oh really? Yeah. Somebody, oh. Oh, tape stuck in my paper. I haven't seen them this year yet at all. Is that the first no. time they've been spotted today? Um, I'm not sure if it was an old old lady who was talking to us along the pier. Mm. I keep <laughs> speaking to the man. You know the bit the the man that wanders up and down through Tweedmouth and over into Berwick and he always has a camera and binoculars around his neck and he always has a backpack on. Yeah. I often talk to him, he likes to talk about the squirrels of Berwick. <laughs> Is he monitoring <laughs> them for you? <laughs> I never see any anywhere. We don't seem to have them here. I but seen he any occasionally sees one up near the train station. Ooh. He likes to keep me informed about it. <laughs> I've seen a squirrel at Paxton, but that's not Berwick. 
Yeah, I'll tell him. You tell him. He'll make a note in his book. <laughs> it was. It was. Is it grey ones or the naughty squirrels? It was a grey one. Uh -huh. so, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> a whale might be coming according to Tanya. Whoa. Well, there was a whale quite. There was a whale seen quite recently as well. Why am I thinking this? Maybe the you know the boats. What are they called? Shield? Are they called? The take people out to the Five Islands. I think they spotted whales recently. Oh, I'm so good at remembering the gist of things and not the facts. Me too. Yeah. Mm. Something about a whale, maybe. Yeah. And a yeah, boat. Like, there was a boat. Yeah, there was definitely a boat and some sea. Uh, and something happened. Yeah. What was gonna happen? <laughs> That's it. That's the one. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> I think I should invent a quiz, I'd, a, a game show for TV. I'd definitely yeah. win it, and it'd be called The Gist. <laughs> no, it would be like, you sum up the gist of it. Yeah. Too or would many it be, you say the disqualified. Gist. <laughs> you could say the gist, and then people say the actual thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'd be like, people shooting each other and stuff. World War II. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> down with your eyes closed for, for a while. Meditation! Yes, that's it! <laughs> <laughs> I would love that yeah, game. That's it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Did you make it <laughs> oh, brilliant. Okay, I have an incredibly <laughs> long wobbly stick now. Yeah, I've got a really good one as well. Okay. Non-dominant hand. Shall six we do seconds. six minutes? Yes. And then it'll be home time. Right, when your marks get set, go. Ooh. Oh, are we doing non-dominant hand longer arm, stick <laughs> arm thick? Yes. Are you non-dominant yes. hand? I'm okay. non-dominant hand, and are you using your dominant hand? No, I'm non-dominant now. I thought that oh, was good. what we're up to. Go check if you... I'm going to give you the gist of something, and it's a conversation I really remember. <laughs> From my grandma telling my granddad something, but she forgot the word. And you have to see if you can guess the word. <laughs> Amazing, right. I can't wait. Okay. <laughs> it's them things that women use. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. God, I can't say it. It's them things women use to get the hairs off the face. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it could be so, is it a hair bubble? <laughs> <laughs> it's tweezers <laughs> tweezers <laughs> <laughs> that is such a good one is that, is that where you get the, your um your gist skills from <laughs> yeah it definitely is but i also over over here are the people's and i always remember them and there's a really good one between jerry's grandma and granddad and his granddad said to me and jerry she, he said What's those things women like? <laughs> and Jerry's <laughs> grandma said, scented candles. Oh, God. I've told you that before, I know. I've got it makes me laugh. I, I still love it so much, though. <laughs> Especially that, that, that she knew. Yeah, yeah, she oh, yeah, knew. scented candles. <laughs> nothing else oh, that they could do. It's so brilliant. How's your it's drawing brilliant. going, by the way? Uh... Mine is not. Well, I'm half crying at the same time, so I have to admit to not concentrating very well. <laughs> oh, dear. Cry drawing. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk about the exciting things we're planning? Or is it top secret? Oh, yeah. Talk about the exciting things. The exciting things. What's the exciting things? The most exciting thing is that on the 30th of April, it will be one year since we've properly launched. So we're going to do a competition with lots yeah. of exciting prizes. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be brilliant. I can't wait for that. It's a year. Can you believe it? A year. Next Friday. So next Friday, Art Club, it's our one year anniversary of launching Good Ship. It's gone so fast. And my amazing. birthday. We launched Good Ship on my birthday. Yeah. Coincidentally. I think I remember being on a Zoom and I ate some cake for you. You did. That was really yeah. kind of you. Yeah. <laughs> A true friend. <laughs> the other exciting thing is that we are designing a picture book course. 
we'll launch Very that later this year and we're doing a business course as well because we're asked con both of those those are the two subjects we're asked about more than anything pitch books and business yeah just tell you the gist just generally the gist just the gist <laughs> So business and stuff, you just want to charge, <laughs> charge money for you drawing pictures and then it's fine. <laughs> You'll get all the details in between that. <laughs> all about pricing and contracts That's all and right. how to manage like it. The gist. <laughs> yeah. There's too much to remember if you get all the facts. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a bonus training, Helen's gist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, these drawings don't look like anything, but I'm having fun. Me too. I've been laughing so much, I'm overheating. I'm going to have to mm -hmm. take my jumper off in a minute. Definitely gone red. We've got one minute, 45 seconds left. Oh. The Amethyst Adventuresses, when will they be launched? So, that is a good question. We think late, late, summer? late summer, yeah. yeah. We don't have a date yet because we're still making them, so we don't want to kind of pin ourselves down, but I think it'll be late summer. Yeah, they'll be worth the wait. Yeah. And again, the best way if you want to hear about them and things like that is to be on the mailing list. And then yeah. it means if the algorithm hides our posts and things, you won't miss it. Exactly. I've already asked some cool picture book people to be involved. Yeah. We've asked some cool business people to be involved too. Yeah. It's going to be juicy. Trying to draw a remote control and I'm also forgetting to breathe. Yeah, I'm forgetting to breathe as well. I've managed not to make any of the weird oof noises for a while. <laughs> Are you like a tennis player, you know, and they get really into it? Yeah, I think like, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to control the line, isn't it? Yep. Impossible. <clears throat> No. Tipped my stick in again, and then now we've got end of it. That's the end. Oh, I've got an achy shoulder now. <laughs> I think I was tensing it all up. <sighs> oh, it doesn't really look like good. anything, but it's expressive lines. <laughs> it is. I can see the remote control. Yeah, that came Bottom out. Bottom of right. the lamp. Yes, the lamp. exactly. Oh, he's yeah. nailed it. A pencil? Yeah. You drew the gist and I got it. Yes. <laughs> okay, box of candles. Oh, that candle box again. Tin of mackerel. But I Same. didn't manage to write anything on the tin yet. How long have we got left? Yeah, to imagine. It's the gist of a mackerel tin. Yeah, exactly. We've got six minutes Amazing. left. We've probably got time for a quick, like a three minute one, and then we could do the disastrous 10 second animals. Somebody's Good, asking yeah. what, somebody's asking, a sibling's asking what papers do you use? Oh, we always just bring whatever we've got around, don't we? At the moment, I found these yeah. really nice brown sketchbooks. Um, it's brown recycled sketchbook made by a company called Artway. They're A3, really nice. Very, very nice. cheap, but nice. I'm using newsprint from Cafe, also very cheap. And you get a million, billion sheets. So it's really good for art club because you just, you tear through like 20 sheets a night. Yeah. Handy. I've also got a good stack of uh, packing paper. I, I use my, mm. my fireplace as a storage place for paper. There's no fire, I won't <laughs> be lighting a fire. And I've got a big <laughs> stack of packing paper in there. And some neon paper as well, the kind that you would use in a shop to cut out a circle and write the price in it. 
Love those. Mm. Only 1990. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have yeah. to make those when I worked in a bookshop in about 1992. I used to have to cut out those sort of star shapes and write the prices. It was brilliant. I bet they were the most artistic sales signs ever. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. That was the best bit of the job. The other good bit of the job is that we used to, on a Sunday, we often used to have the same man come in and nick Bibles. And so we'd wait for him to come in and then I'd have to hover around him with a feather duster, like a big stick with the feathers on the end. And I just had to hover around him and try and get into conversation because if you were chatting to him, he wouldn't try and nick them. Why was he stealing Bibles? I don't know. He was just a character. I don't know. Just a funny guy. Oh, what was somebody's asking what my pad was called? Um, it's called, it says Artway. Artway on the back. Artway. Wait. Artway. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that. We've got, we've got four minutes. To, yeah, well, should we do a quick oh. one and then? Yeah, let's um, do a really animal. quick one. Okay. Right. Three minutes. Yeah, that sounds spot okay. on. Or even we could do two minutes actually, because then. All right, then minute, two minutes so. on your marks. Get set. Go. Five minutes. Oh, that's no good. I tried doing the type with a stick that had just been dipped in the ink, so it just made a huge oh, blob. Yeah. Big blob. Try to draw a stapler. Oh, that's good. I got those nice little dots that you got. My sticks started to bounce as well. That's good. Yeah, it's like nice um, mark. A, like when you squeak your foot on the floor or something. Yeah, it would be good to try and rig up some sort of equip equipment that always did that, that you could just draw dots with. That'd be great. That'd be so cool. A squeak, a squeaky drawer. <laughs> got thirty seconds oh, left. It's not long. We should finish this beautiful stapler that I have created. I'm trying to do those dots on purpose. There we are. Time's up. How was that one? Stapler. Ooh, it looks a bit like a hippo from behind. <laughs> it does, yeah, like what? Is that his nose? And that's yeah, his back leg. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Just draw a little tail on the back. <laughs> yeah, it was a hippo. That was my 10 second animal. <laughs> That's the candles from earlier, and I've managed to draw the macro. Yay! Yay! I love how splattered <laughs> your desk is as well. How what? How splattered your desk is. Under oh, the it's kitchen. my light box, and um, ah. it's actually it's actually the lights have stopped working at one end of it. It's really annoying. I think I'm gonna have to get a new one. If I bend it, it's like wedge something up in the corner, it works again. But it's just. I've had it like that for years now, and it's getting irritating. I think I'm just going to have to get another one. They're, they're really skinny now when you get the new ones. They're like, it's a flat yeah. thing. Yeah. Is that one like that? It's a really, really thin one. But before this, before this technology, I used to have one that was like that deep because it was an old advertising box That's and it had an advert on the front. And I took the advert and I managed to get it from somebody who'd used it in like an exhibition centre or something. And I got the yeah. advert off the front and I just had this light box. But it was really hard because you put your, pull your chair up to it and then your arms were up in the air like that. It was so deep. It was really annoying. 
I the guess we're like that, the, 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 of a record player, you know, like the see oh, yeah. top of the a record player. Bit. Yeah, put it over the top of a lamp. Cool. <laughs> I, I remember when I was doing animation, my friend made me one, and it was so heavy that you couldn't move it, but it was like slanted and had the oh. holes to put like the rig and thing on it was great but it was I, could, I, I don't know drawing at an angle makes my wrists go funny and i feel weird it's no good for me because of using a dip pen everything just oh, runs yeah. down the paper <laughs> Play yeah it's not good <laughs> not good so <laughs> should we do a 10 second animal yeah yeah that time look how enthusiastic i am yeah i uh, really love the 10 second animal <laughs> Right. Has <laughs> anybody got any animal suggestions? Ooh, exotic salamander. Right, I'll get the timer set. So if nobody's done ten, 10 second animal before, this is where um, you write your animal in the comments, Katie chooses one, and I've got the timer ready for 10 seconds, and before anybody can do something dreadful like cheat and have a look on Google, I press start and we're off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've I've got one. Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Are we Angel. doing it with a stick? Yeah. Yeah, right, go on stick. then. Angelfish. Stop. Angelfish. Oh. Um oh. oh my goodness. I remember they're very pretty. Damn this stick. Oh, oh, it needs an eye. Okay, finished, finished. Oh, oh. no cheating. <laughs> I never cheat. <laughs> my finest work to date uh, yours <laughs> oh you you know what one looks like I drew mine from the front it looks <gasps> wow. like it's got a moustache though <laughs> I love it I would never have thought to do it face <laughs> forward <laughs> so good oh, I wish I could see everybody else's I wish everybody could hold them up now so we can that see that would them. be so good wouldn't it yeah oh well thank oh, you everybody well, um, for joining in yeah, thanks everybody. And share all your drawings at um, hashtag goodship illo and like hashtag season. art club aftermath so that we can see all of the devastation that we've created. I've made a lot of messes drawings all over the floor. Yep, me too. It is messy. It's been good though. It's been really good fun, hasn't it? Is it seven o'clock next week as well? It's still April, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we'll do seven o'clock next week. We decided to do seven till the end of April and then we'll decide what to do after that. Don't know what we'll do yeah. after that. We'll see. We'll see. You could message us and tell us like when would be the ideal time. It's just that every single one of you will tell us a different day and a different time. So someone's always we'll angry whatever time we do. Who <laughs> <laughs> so was like, I'd have my dinner at that time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you know. Oh look Viv here. Bye. Hey there's Viv. Hey. Brilliant. Bye, Bye. Bye everybody. Bye Tanya. Bye.